are a number of settlement schemes in that region which for the longest time have had serious issues with land ownership. I personally was in Embu on Monday and I visited a ward called um, Karaba and Makema. In those two regions, the speaker, we have huge populations of people from the Kamba extraction who have occupied those pieces of land since independence. There are also the Mbeere who have occupied that land. The Embu are there. We have Kikuyus who are there. The, 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 the Karaba and Madhima wards are a cosmopolitan ward in a rural setting. And yet this threat of eviction keeps hanging on the necks of these people since independence. The speaker, I want to say this, that the constitution of Kenya is very clear that any Kenyan can own property and live anywhere in this country. It's actually very unfortunate that one of the leaders, who I will not mention because the standing orders don't allow me to mention people because I cannot uh, substantiate their, their, their actions. The speaker, there is an elected leader Order members who, who, was, who was even Senator threatening Oroba. an elected Senator leader Mbidi. from Embu Order members. who was even threatening us, an entourage led by the His Excellency Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka on Monday, that we should not visit Karaba and we should not visit Madima. With, with a threat that if we visit, we should not mention anything to do with land. The speaker, these matters, these matters are serious. And we want, I want to stand on the floor of the Senate today, the speaker, and reassure the people of Karaba and the people of Madhima that they are occupying that land by right. That, that they are not there as quarters, they are not there as invited guests, they are there by right as Kenyans. They should continue occupying the land that they have occupied since independence. They should establish permanent buildings in that land, and the government of Kenya has a responsibility and a duty of care to issue those people with title deeds. So speak of this thing about title deeds that we keep talking about. You would think that title deeds are a process, I don't know, from heaven or from where. The speaker, those people in Embu who have a legitimate claim on land should be issued with title deeds for them to settle and do their business. The speaker, with those remarks, I support. Senator Samson Chiragai. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, because I want to support the petitioners who have brought this petition, the Mutaratara sublocation better not in Embu County. The speaker, I want to propose two quick solutions, and uh, I hope members of Lands Committee and Environment are here. One, Mr. Speaker, because it looks from their petition that uh, there is already fear of evictions. I want to request that uh, the Committee on Lands order that status quo be maintained until adjudication of the said area is being finalized and discussed. Mr. Speaker, secondly, the necessary adjudication process should